In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a large medieval cog in Minecraft. Now if you guys are new to the channel at all, we're here to help you build bigger and to build better, so if that's something you're interested in, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also guys, if you want more videos like this one, I'll leave a link in the card above as well as in the description to a full playlist that you guys can check out. If you want a download for this one, it's available on my online store as well, so I'll leave a link to that. But anyway guys, let's get into the tutorial. Alright then, so here we are on my flat tutorial world, here is the ship out of water. So we're going to be building this one out of water to make it easy, but I'll also go through a couple bits and bobs of where you'd be building it if you are going to plonk it straight in the water for you survival players in particular. So this one is 32 blocks long, it is 23 blocks wide, and it's 32 blocks high. That's really weird that it's um, 3, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, I never noticed that. In terms of building this one underneath the water, I ended up having mine just here. So what that means is you're going to have a block next to your water. You're going to go one, two, three, down to there, okay? So this layer right here is going to be your water layer, or not your water layer, your first layer. All right, but you could, if you wanted to, have it up to there, okay? I just had it down here because it already has quite a nice big chunky ship, so you should have enough buoyancy underneath that. Uh, and otherwise, you kind of get these little windows here that you could switch out for cannons if you wanted to, by the way. So if you wanted to make this one into a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10 gun uh, kind of ship, then you could do, you know, those are pretty good points for them. Uh, and you can see the deck on the inside in there. In terms of the materials you guys are going to need, spruce slab, spruce stairs, and spruce plank, as well as a jungle uh, jungle fence. Uh, if you want to switch up any of the blocks, feel free to go for it, because as you can see, we've got spruce, dark oak, then we've got some birch, dark oak, and then we've got the uh, mangrove. And I'll talk about a couple different variations for the top part when we get onto there. There's quite a lot you can do with this one. But anyway, guys, uh, like I said, I'm going to be building this one out of the water. This is my nice grid, but let's get into layer number one. All right, so for layer number one, for me, I'm going to find the middle of this box, which I think is about there. That looks about right. And from the outside of the, the kind of box, I'm going to go forwards by one. Now, from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up with three blocks. So we've got three in total, one, two, three. Then I'm going to put a spruce stair on top. And then I'm going to have two jungle fences on top of that. And it's purely so I can get rid of the jungle fence. Uh, I've been doing this with a lot of my tutorials lately. Now what we're going to do is behind this jungle fence is we're going to have a spruce plank block. On the side of that, facing to the front of the ship, we're going to have an upside down spruce stair either side of that one, like that. Then we're going to have three blocks behind the stair, so one, two, and three, like that. On the side of this one, we're going to have a spruce slab on the upper piece, like that. Then we're going to have three spruce plank blocks behind, one, two, three. Then we're going to have a spruce slab coming out. And then six blocks of your spruce slab. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then on the front of this one, we're going to have a spruce slab again. Now we're going to go towards the inner part of the ship, the middle of the ship. And we're going to have two spruce plank blocks here like that. Then a spruce slab. Then we're going to have two spruce plank blocks again. Then a spruce slab. Then we're going to have two spruce plank blocks. And then on the front, we're going to have an upside down spruce stair. Right, let's get to the other side now. So three blocks, one, two, three. On the side of that one, we're going to have a spruce slab coming out. Three blocks behind, one, two, three. Move out by one with a spruce slab. Six blocks now, one, two, three, four, five, six. On the front of this, we're going to have a slab. And we're going to start moving inward. So we've got the two spruce plank blocks on the inside of that one. Spruce slab on the front. Again, moving inwards, two spruce plank blocks. And we're going to have a spruce slab like that. Now what we need to do is just fill this up with your spruce planks. There we go. Fill the whole thing up like this. All right. There we go. And guys, that's it for layer number one. And for layer number two, just come to the front of the ship. So this is where we're going to be starting for all these ones. We're going to have two blocks on top of the last layers here with just your planks. On the side of the last block there, we're going to have an upside down spruce stair with two blocks behind, one and two. Then we're going to have an upside down spruce stair on the side of the last one like that, with one block behind. Then we're going to have a spruce slab coming out to the side of that one. Now we're going to have four blocks behind, one, two, three, and four. Then coming out again, we're going to have a spruce slab, and we're just going to have three blocks this time, one, two, and three. Then on the back of this one, we're going to have a spruce slab, 
On the inside, we're going to have a total of three blocks, one, two, and three. On the back of this one, we're going to have an upside down spruce stair. Then on the inside, we're going to have two blocks, one and two, and then an upside down spruce stair here like that. Then on the back, we're going to have three blocks, one, two, three. And what we're going to do is we're going to have an extra one right here, just in the middle, okay, like that. So on the other side, we'll do the same thing. So first up is an upside down spruce stair with two blocks behind, one and two. Then an upside down spruce stair again with one block behind. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have a slab this time. And we're going to have four blocks behind, one, two, three, and four. I'm just going to double check that I did put a slab there. And, and yeah, I did. I was just thinking, I couldn't remember. I thought it was a stair, but no, never mind. Uh, what we're going to do here is going to have a slab coming out. Three blocks, one, two, three. Then we're going to have a slab on the end. Then on the inside now, what we're going to do is we're going to have three blocks, one, two, three. Upside down spruce stair. On the inside, we're going to have two blocks, one and two. Then an upside down spruce stair. Then on the inside, we're going to have three blocks, one, two and three, like that. Okay. So next up, what we're going to do is we are going to grab ourselves a stripped spruce wood. And the first one's going to be right here in the middle of these ones. So you're going to leave a block gap there. Now this one, I'm pretty sure is dead in the middle. We'll find out, I'm sure. Um, so we're going to have it dead in the middle of this kind of big wide part of it. So you can kind of see the, the kind of size of the actual hole with this one. It is nice and big. At least I think it is anyway. So there you go. So you get this whole layer here and also a kind of really kind of um, stuck layer underneath here. But pretty good, I think, anyway. So there we go, that's what we get. Cool, but that's it guys for layer number two. And now we're on to layer number three. So at the front, we're gonna place a block of spruce on top of the last layer. Come forwards with an upside down spruce stair. Then what we're gonna do right here, where we've got the upside down spruce stair on the previous layer, we're gonna have two blocks just going back like that. So just blocks. Then we're gonna have an upside down spruce stair with one block behind it. At the next level here, we're going to have three blocks, just one, two, and three like that. Then an upside down spruce stair with seven blocks behind. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. On the back of that uh, kind of run of blocks, we're going to have an upside down spruce stair. On the inside, two spruce plank blocks, one and two. Upside down spruce stair. On the inside, two spruce planks, one and two, with an upside down stair on the back of that one. Then on the inside, we're going to have two spruce stairs right there. Uh, just spruce blocks even, not stairs. Spruce plank blocks right there. And then what we're going to do is right here, we're going to have an upside down spruce stair right on the back there over those two jungle fences. So that's what you get there. So you get a little gap like that. Same on the other side now. So we'll go through that. We're going to have two spruce plank blocks like that. On the last one, we're going to have an upside down spruce stair. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have one block behind that one. Then three blocks, one, two, and three. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have an upside down spruce stair on the last one there. Seven blocks behind this, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. On the end of this run, we're going to have an upside down spruce stair. On the inside, we're going to have two spruce plank blocks, one and two. Then a spruce stair, upside down. Then we're going to have two blocks, one, two, upside down spruce stair. Then on the inside of this, we're going to have two plank blocks there like that. Good news is, this is in the right place. So build this up by one. Then what we're going to do is going to add a ladder onto the front of this one right here. Now grab yourself your oak slabs. Now this one's really flat because of the, um, it's mostly because of the back part of it and the front part of it. I've not curved the decks on it. You run out of space very quickly. So we're just going to put in oak slabs as a deck and it's all going to be very, very flat. If you guys wanted to tweak this, feel free to do so. You could do, and I'll show you the reason why when we get up into the next bit, but you might want to wait until you're all done. So like here, for example, you can see I've moved some of it up. So you could do it where the next, it actually goes up even more. And this then kind of angles down and we could do a similar thing at the front if you guys wanted to. But uh, what you'll find is that it's not got huge amounts of headspace on this level. Um, you know, it's not terrible, but it's not great at the same time. So you could increase it there a little bit. Um, and you can see the back here. It just is a tiny little bit bigger. So that's kind of up to you guys what you want to do. But anyway, let's continue on with this and get into here. So 
that's the reason I've done it flat. <laughs> it's because of those front and back kind of castle-y bits on the cog um, rather than normal, what I would do. So there we go, even put it on the front here as well because I think you can walk around there, I can't quite remember. But there we go guys, that's it for your layer number three. And for layer number four, what we're going to do is we're going to have two spruce plank blocks right on the front here, like that, so directly on top of the last layer, and one back. Then an upside down spruce stair on the side of this one. One block behind. Then we're going to have two blocks right here, one and two. Upside down spruce stair on the side of this, the last one you just placed. Two blocks behind, one and two. Upside down spruce stair. Then we're going to have nine blocks coming back from this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Upside down spruce stair. On the inside of this, we're going to have two spruce plank blocks with an upside down spruce stair on the back of that one. On the inside, two spruce plank blocks with an upside down spruce stair. Then we're going to have one block on the back here with an upside down spruce stair. And then over the top of this one, just have a block in there like that. You could do, also do a slab if you wanted to, but... Uh, I'm guessing there's a reason I put the block in. <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out. Um, put an upside down, so on the other side now. Upside down spruce stair first with one block behind it. Two blocks on top of the last layer here, one and two. On the last one, we're going to have an upside down spruce stair right here like that. Two blocks behind, one and two. Upside down spruce stair. Nine blocks behind, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Upside down spruce stair on the end of that one there. Two blocks on the inside, one and two. We have an upside down spruce stair. On the inside, two blocks. Upside down spruce stair like that. On this one right here, place a block in there and then have an upside down spruce stair as well like that. All we need to do is just build up the uh, mast that you've got. On this one, I actually put in a spruce trapdoor as well like that, just to close it off. Now, the reason I've only got a mast on that one, I should say as well, is because purely so that you've got a way down actually because uh, I didn't explain that um, but I just decided to put in the same materials and mast it just looked a little bit more sturdy uh, than anything else to put the whole ladder on so that's it guys for layer number five we're going to mix it up and get a new material in or a couple of new materials in in fact so grab yourself a dark oak slab stair and a block and also a crimson slab that'll get you start with this and what's going to need a dark oak fence gate so why not grab that thing so first things first, we're going to place a dark oak plank block directly on top of the last layer. Then we're going to have two blocks on top of the last layer as well, just on the back here. On the side of the last block, we're going to have an upside down dark oak stair with a plank block behind it. Go diagonal to that, so directly on top of the last layer where we've got this upside down spruce stair, we're going to have a dark oak plank block like that. Then we're going to have a dark oak fence gate just on the inside here. Now moving to the longest layer that we've got here. We're going to have two oak, uh, dark oak plank blocks, then a dark oak fence gate, two dark oak plank blocks, then a dark oak fence gate, then two dark oak plank blocks with a dark oak fence gate. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a dark oak plank block, just one this time, with a dark oak stair on the inside. This is where the hole starts to kind of wrap back on it itself, okay? At least for that part, I think the, the next bit does it on the next bit, if that makes sense, next layer. Uh, on the inside, we're going to have a dark oak plank right here with a dark oak fence gate in the middle of that one. Then a dark oak plank block with an upside down dark oak stair like that. On the inside now, we're going to have two dark oak plank blocks like that. Then we're going to have a upside down dark oak stair going that way. Then a dark oak slab off of that one. Then across the, the back, we're going to have three upside down dark oak stairs. One, two, and three. So this is all to kind of hold the cabin. And it's quite square, so I've tried to make it look quite early uh, design-wise. and so not, not very elegant, a bit blocky. Um, so that's what I've gone for. So on the other side, we're going to have just two blocks right here. One and two. On the last one, we're going to have an upside down dark oak stair. Behind that, one dark oak block. So plank block like that. From that one, diagonal, onto the, on top of the uh, upside down spruce stair, we're going to have a dark oak plank block. Then we're going to have a dark oak fence gate. Then on the longest run here, we're going to have two blocks, then a gap, two blocks, then a gap, two blocks like that. Then we can put in a dark oak fence gate here, here, and here like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have a dark oak plank block, just one on the end of that one, with a dark oak stair going in, so it all kind of curves around. 
Coming up onto the inside now, we're going to have a dark oak plank block here with a dark oak fence gate. Then a plank block right here with an upside down dark oak stair. On the inside of that, we're going to have uh, two dark oak planks. So one and two there like that. Then right here, we're going to have a dark oak stair going that way. Okay. Then a, and then a slab on the end to square that whole bit off like that. Okay. Only other bit we need to do now is we're going to need a spruce trapdoor. And just on this one here, so where we've not the, the kind of backmost one, but the next one, have a spruce trapdoor above it, okay? So just on the upper part of that, like that. Now the reason for this is because all of the other ones are on the next layer. This one, however, because of where the shrouds sit, are one lower, okay? So that's the reason we've got that there. Build up your oak woody bits, stripped oak wood bits, with your ladder as well on the front part of it. And then right at the front, we're going to have, just on the side of this, a crimson slab, either side of that dark oak plank block. For layer number six now, what you're going to need is birch stairs and also planks. And we'll need a load of other stuff. I'll talk you guys through those as we go. So first things first, on the front of the, or on the on top of the last layer, per birch plank block. Come forwards with an upside down birch stair from here. On the side of that birch plank block, we're going to have an upside down birch stair as well. So that'll sit on top of that crimson slab. Behind that, you're going to have one block of your birch planks. On the next two here, we're going to have two birch plank blocks like that. On the side of the last one, we're going to have an upside down birch stair. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have three birch plank blocks on top of the, or well, coming back from the last layer, one, two, three. I couldn't get my words out then. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have an up, uh, just a normal birch stair, in fact, on top of this one. So this is where this one starts to curve back here like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have birch planks all the way over the top, apart from this block here, okay? Because that one's going to be a birch stair. So you're going to get a birch stair in there like that, okay? So that's what you end up getting there. On the inside now, what we're going to do is we're going to have a birch plank block, of course. So it's actually going to be three of those. So one, two, three. Uh, in fact, it's four. <laughs> four blocks. One, two, three, four, like that. Birch stair now. It's just going to be on top of that one there. So again, this part's curving in there. Now what I did next for the cabin part of it to make it look kind of interesting, I had uh, stripped mangrove wood. And that was just to give it a kind of red painted look that was different to the kind of red mangrove wood here and also different to the kind of pattern I had in there. So I wanted to have it just a bit different really. Um, so if you want to do that, you can do. We're going to have one here, one here, lever block, one on the end there like that. Leave a block, have one there, one there, one there, and one there, okay? So you end up with that as your little cabin, so you get a little bit of that. Put in a glass pane. You can use coloured if you guys want to. It's totally up to you. And then what I did is for each of the windows, I had a mangrove trapdoor on each of these, okay? So we'll go for like that. Then what I did as well is I had jungle fence and just placed these on the edges here. Like this, so every time we've got one of those... Uh, mangroves apart from this bit obviously because we haven't done this side yet but that's what we have on top of there let's quickly do the other side before we get too far ahead so we're gonna have an upside down birch stair on the side of that birch plank block there one block behind then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have two birch plank blocks directly on top of the last layer like that upside down birch stair next to that one there with three blocks behind one two three then we're gonna have a normal birch stair on the side of this one to kind of smooth out that uh, oval shape just bring your birch planks on top of this layer here until you get to the end where we're gonna have a birch stair so you end up with that dark oak stair then that birch stair there like that on the inside we're gonna have four blocks so one two three and four and then we're gonna have a normal birch stair on the inside part of it like that there we go okay so now what we can do is we can grab ourselves a spruce trapdoor so what we're going to do is above the uh, kind of window parts of it, we're going to have the spruce trapdoor. If you wanted these closed, by the way, feel free to, you know, close them off and just have them on the lower level. But if you want them open, it just gives you an extra bit of a gap, really, for these. So that's what we're going to do around here. Put those over the top like that. There we go. That looks pretty good. With the mast, bring these up by one as well, including this one here where we've got the ladder going up, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to put in the deck, okay? So where we've got the um, mangrovey thing, the stripped mangrove, we're going to bring an oak slab going across here, but leave this little two by three box here. 
Now the rest of it is going to be oak slabs. Well, most of it is going to be oak slabs, should I say. Actually, in fact, we should do the other bit first before we have to delete blocks. So first things first, where well, we've got the middle mast here. On the sides, we're going to have two coming out. Okay, so bring two slabs out here from this middle bit, like that. And then what we're going to do is from the back, we're going to have three of these. It actually just turns out to be exactly this. We're going to have three of these are going to have, uh, from the back part of it, going to have oak trapdoors on them. Bring them forwards. And in fact, it's four as well. That's weird how that works out. But I guess it makes more sense when we've got the front and the back parts in there. So two there. Bring those out. Two slabs. Like that. Then we've just got trapdoors running across this here, like that there leave the middle ones. Now the rest of it is slabs apart from in the middle of this of course because that is going to be spruce trapdoors over the top from the next layer. Okay so bring this around here also bring it in front as well like that and all this front part as well and bring because I didn't angle it like I was saying before. So that's what you end up getting there. So what else do we need to do? Well we need to grab ourselves a spruce slab. And where we've got at the back here, this birch stair here, we're going to have three spruce slabs coming forwards from that one there, like that. This is where the shrouds are going to sit, so one, two, and three, like that. Now come around to the front of the ship, and what we're going to do is we're going to grab our crimson slab again. Where we've got this upside down birch stair here, we're going to have a lower slab in front of that one. Then we're going to have an upper slab here. Where we've got the birch stair right at the front, we're going to have a slab on the side of that one, like that. So over here, what we're going to do is we're going to have a lower slab, then an upper slab, and then right on the stair, an upper slab like that. But guys, that's it for layer number six. All right, so on to layer number seven. So we're now going to build the two little castle parts for castle, back castle. I don't know what's called that one. Let me know. Um, I'm sure I've asked that already, guys, <laughs> in other tutorials. But we're going to need our dark oak slabs and stairs. So what we're going to do right on the front here is where we've got this upside down uh, birch stair right on the side, not on the front. We're going to have a stair going inwards. We're then going to have a dark oak slab. Then we're going to have a stair right here. Then right here on top of this one, we're going to have a slab. So we're not going to have a slab there. We're going to have a slab right here. Then we're going to have a stair like that. So I'll do the same on the other side. Stair, slab, stair, slab, stair like that. So that's what you end up getting, okay? I know it's a 2, 1, 2, which is... A little bit irregular really. Then what we're going to do is on the inside we're going to kind of use this line going across here. We're going to leave a gap, have a stair right there, have a stair going the other way, then we're going to have a stair going this way. We're also going to whack in a spruce trapdoor over that now so we can close up the nice hold part of it. Uh, we're also going to need to grab a composter which I didn't grab into my bar but grab one and plunk that on top of your um, mast that you've got in the middle. Then with your spruce trapdoors, just cover up this gap going across here. You can also use your oak trapdoors if you want to. Whatever you guys prefer is absolutely fine. So there we go, get that going across. Whoops, get that going across there, like that. There we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be moving across the side of the ship here. So what we're going to do is we're going to have an upside down dark oak stair first. Then you're going to do another dark oak stair. This is where it's a little bit irregular than our normal pattern where I do the kind of loops like this, okay? So this one's going to have just this doubling up there. But now, over onto the birch plank here, this is where you're going to have the loop, okay? Now do another loop, like that. So you just get these upside down stairs, like this. Another one as well. So get that onto the back part there. Then one more, so you get one there. Don't do it over this one though. I'm going to move to the inner part here like that. So you just have it one in, okay? So you get it a little bit of an angle. So do the same on the other side, so we get those two normal stairs first. Then we get that upside down stair in here like that. Upside down, upside down, upside down, upside down, upside down, upside down, upside down. Then finally upside down there like that. There we go. Right, back onto this side of the ship now, so the right hand side of the ship. And we're going to get onto the next bit. So we're going to get a normal stair here like that, facing inwards. Then we're going to have a slab. Then a stair, then move on to the um, stripped uh, mangrove wood that you've got there, do a slab, then a stair, then a slab, then a stair like that. Over the glass here, we're going to have a slab, and we're going to have a stair on top of that one as well, okay? So right here, stair, slab, stair, slab, stair, slab, stair, 
slab like that there we go with your oak slabs put your oak slabs just over this bit here it just gives a little bit more um space in this cabin you can then hang a lantern and things like that so that's why we've got that little bit there i know though it's a little bit difficult to get into this bit but what you can do at least from the inside now is you can have a look at this bit and go ah we can put in slabs here uh, you can't put anything else though or can you actually yeah you can in the middle have a slab i probably wouldn't though i would probably just go with plank block right in here because why not so you could have it where you slap up all of this bit have your bed up here or something like that I don't know totally up to you guys whatever you want to do is totally cool with me not surprisingly there we go right okay so what we'll do on the back now is we'll grab our crimson slabs and just over the windows we're gonna have a slab in the middle and then a lower slab each side here just to make those nice little windows okay and we're going to do the same over on these bits as well, okay? So at the back, we just get that kind of wavy pattern. I tried to go with quite a basic looking, um, as I've said before, basic looking cabin on this one because it's an early medieval ship. Um, so that's why it's quite boxy. It's done it on purpose. But I did want to try and add a little bit of color into it, at least at the back, you know. Um, so there we go. That's what we get there. Now, on to the front now. What we're going to do is where we've got this stair here, the first dark oak stair that we placed, we're going to have a slab of your crimson just coming off of the lower part of that one. Then at the front, we're going to have an upper one right here. Right at the front, we're going to have a lower crimson slab there. So you get this lower, upper, and then lower there like that. Upper, then lower like that. There we go. Now what you're going to do is right in the middle here, we're going to have a spruce slab. We're going to have a lower spruce slab right here, upper one right here. So this is the bowsprit that comes out the front of the ship like that. Now grab yourself a jungle fence gate and also a mangrove fence gate. So for me, I used these two to add a little bit of color. It's not really bright like my other one, but if you did want to make it really bright, you can use the alternating, uh, what did we do last time? We used, not these. We used, uh, that was it, Crimson, and also Warped, and that looked awesome, actually. It was my favorite one, and in fact, the last one I'm going to do in this series will be in that color. But for this one, I ended up going with, like, Crimson and Mangrove, and I wanted to have it a little bit softer on the side, so it's less bright. Um, so that's what I went with, so uh, go with those if you want them. Where we're going to be starting this is going to be... Uh, I'm just having a look at this. There we go, right here. So this Crimson um, slab that we've got here, this is where our jungle's going to be. Then we're going to go mangrove, jungle, mangrove, jungle, mangrove, jungle, mangrove, jungle, mangrove. And you can see the pattern. Don't do it on top of these slabs though. That's where the shrouds are going to be. So ignore that bit. But we would go mangrove, jungle, mangrove, jungle. Okay. So then we keep doing this around here as much as we can until we get to there. There we go. So that's the end part of there. Just adds a little bit of color. So let's do the same on the other side. So you get jungle. I don't think it's going to work actually. I think it's easier... Well, uh, maybe actually doing the skippy, skipping version of it. I don't know. Maybe it works quite nicely. As long as you don't mess up. Uh, mangrove, jungle, mangrove, jungle. <laughs> there we go. Mangrove, jungle. I keep on getting it wrong when I'm trying to do it like faster. There we go. So that's what we end up getting there. Now on the inside part of this, uh, what we're going to do is similar to the other side where we've got these little stairs and stuff in here. Uh, what we're going to do is where we've got the first stair that's going inwards, that is going to be our line going to leave one do a stair going that way stair going that way stair going that way like that now the only other thing to do is to grab ourselves a ladder uh, and we could do this all in one go but we might as well put that there so that's going to be the ladder to get up into the back uh, this one is going to be the ladder to go up into the front but we have got a trap door to close up the hold so there we go guys layer number seven for layer number eight, this is going to be quite easy now. We're going to do the bowsprit first. So we've already got two of the slabs right here. We're going to actually have nine in total. So just keep on working your way up. So we get three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then knock off each of these ones if we want to, or not really if we want to, to just get a nice slab moving on upwards like that. Now what we're going to do is where we've got these stairs, we're going to have an upside down stair just matching it. Where we've got a slab, we have a slab just on the upper piece, all right? So what we're gonna do is put in these right here, get that upside down there, have a slab there. Over the front, just have a slab. So keep on doing this here like that. Oh, that's a bit easier actually. <laughs> and over this one, just have a slab, upside down stair. This one right here, have an upside down stair like that. When very bridge is there, oh, absolutely here. <laughs> I don't know why, who knows? But there we go, have your, have your slab in there, have a ladder on that, Put in your oak slabs now, just have that 
on this part of it because it's the next kind of level of this one. Then grab yourself a spruce sign and we're going to have that going around. Okay. Also forgot to grab another thing as well. Of course I did. Cheers. A pressure plate. Of course. Um, so what we're going to do is, yeah, we're going to have the, sla uh, the signs going around just on this top layer. It doesn't mean that when you go into here, it's um, you know, quite cramped. But I quite like it. It makes it look like you can't go in there, but you can. Uh, I don't know why I like that. I have no idea whatsoever. But yeah, whack these on here. Whack your way around. Keep going. So it's all, always on the side face because although we could put one here and not there, um, you're never going to really look at the ship that way. You're always going to look at the ship from a side angle. It's the way that I think about it anyway. So there we go. Get your slabs in across the front here as well. And on the sides. Right there like that. There we go. So that's it for the front part of it. So the back is... Well, it's basically the same, uh, if not exactly the same. So where we've got the stair, we have a stair, then we have slabs, we have a slab. So there we go. Just do this here, and you just mirror exactly what you've done before, which I quite like this bit, you know. Feels like we're getting somewhere, it feels like we get some momentum, uh, and we're done through some of the more, well, we are done through the most difficult parts of it, I would say. Uh, depends on how you feel about sails, really. That's the main thing. There we go, let's have that there, whack that in there, and guess what, guys? It's a spruce sign all over again. So do the same thing going across here. All the way around the ship. Like this. There we go. And around there. Don't put in just random A's like that. There we go. Keep them going. I know it takes a while to put signs down, it's ridiculous. Uh, but there we go, that's what we end up getting. Put another ladder onto the front part of this, put in your floor. Now, of course, the right right bit at the back, you can't get into this space anymore, but that's fine. Um, you know, you don't really need to, but it's good, a little bit of storage. Uh, if you were using this ship for anything else, though your storage would obviously be out in the open. Uh, still would be quite, quite useful, quite cool. Right, so the last bit is pressure plates. Um, spruce pre pressure plates just put on top of these bits right here like this it just adds a little bit of something different i guess to the banister that we've got on the side there so that is what you end up getting but that's it for layer number eight so for layer number nine and ten we're going to do these together so grab yourself a note block mangrove slab and mangrove stair uh, and i went with crimson pressure plate and crimson sign you could do it in any of the colored woods or colored blocks anything you want um go with it you know totally fine uh, so yeah um go with different colors or whatever you want what we're going to do is with our note block now, wherever we've got one of the stairs, we're going to have a note block on top. So just whack those on top. This makes it quite easy, I find. Um, and you'll see the pattern. It's just one gap between each of them. <laughs> then what we're going to do is with our coloured slab, whatever you're going to use for that. For me, it's mangrove. I'm going to have a coloured slab just going over the top of these. Right at the front here, go forwards with one. And it's a little bit weird, but um, we've got the space to do it, so why not? And do this here, around here. Don't do it in the middle, of course, because that's our way up. Then on top of the note blocks, place a slab. So this is your layer number 10. I know, crazy. Layer number 10. There we go, that's what we get. Then with whatever your alternating color is, and I could do it all the same if you wanted to, no problem at all. But for me, I'm going to use a crimson pressure plate. Just place these on top of these ones here to add a little bit of color. And it's the same with the note blocks now. Put on a sign of your alternating color or the same color. It's totally up to you guys. So this is what you end up getting here. Now with this one, you can go around quite a lot of them. So do what you can. Again, always prioritize the sides, um, but if you can do the front, which you can in this one, then do the front one. Simple as that, there we go. So that's what you end up getting for that. Now you can do the same on the inside as well, if you want to. So we can do this where we cover these up. Can't do it here, because we've got to choose between the two, so I always ignore those. The ones where you don't have to choose between the two, I always end up doing. So there we go, so you get that there. So it then gives a nice little bit of color to the whole build. Onto the back, you won't be surprised, it's basically the same thing. It's not quite the same, but wherever we've got one of those stairs, we place a note block. So that is your starting point. So place these in here, like that. Again, you'll have a one block gap between each of those. The only difference here is that where, where we've got the gaps between them, we put in stairs instead, and that is because it's a little bit more armoured. That's the way I think about it anyway. You've got more to hide behind, um, like this. Okay, so that's what we're going for in these bits. There we go. On top of the note blocks, yep, it slabs all over again, like that. 
Then in between the gaps, yep, you're alternating colour. So for me, that's my crimson pressure plates. So whack those in there, like that. Then with our signs, just onto the note blocks again, okay? Make your way around like this. And it will take a little while. Don't know why. Sign placing, I hate it. <laughs> it's because I randomly, every so often, just type stuff in. And it's because I think that I've done it all, but I haven't. I haven't, done, I haven't pressed done fast enough. So there we go. Get these in here. There we go. WD. Uh, there we go. Put this in here, here. There we go. Then on the inside, same thing again. Put them on these bits like this. <laughs> and finally, we will be done. There we go. So that is it for layers number 9 and 10, which means, guys, we are done with the whole of the ship. So we've got the mast, sails, and shrouds to do. So let's get onto those. So for the mass now guys, grab yourself a stripped oak wood and also a composter and I'll go through the other materials as we go. So first thing we're going to do is going to build 10 blocks with your stripped oak wood on top of the last layer. Well, not really on top of the last layer, that's wrong. Um, on top of your composter, that's all I meant to say. So 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. With your composters, add two on top of that, then go two forwards as well. So have two of them going forwards like that, okay? Then on the frontmost one, we're going to add another 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Right on the top now, we're going to add th uh, three fences, two and three, like that. Where we've got the uh, composter shown here, whack a spruce trapdoor onto it, okay? So whack that onto there. Then what we're going to do is we are going to have, or we're going to count four blocks down. One, two, three, and then go to the fourth one here. Put in an oak stair. Then have an oak stair going towards the back. So oak stair here, one towards the back. Then we're going to have a slab just floating out over there, okay? So it gives you a little gap to get into. Put your oak fence around this. And what we're now going to do is with a ladder, we can now have a ladder going up the back of this mast to get up there because why not? It makes it more interesting if you can climb all the way up. Just don't, don't fall. Um, <laughs> that's the main thing. Right, so what we're going to do now is we are going to be a total of six blocks down. So we go one, two, three, four, five. Grab a barrel. We're going to have a barrel going sideways from here. So we've got a five block gap. One, two, three, four, five. And it's onto the sixth one or a five block gap. Both are true. Then what we're going to do is going to add two to the side of this one. One and two. Then what we're going to do, we'll do the same on the other side as well. One, two. Now we're going to angle the mast, okay? So it depends on which wind direction you've got it going in. You can see that mine wind direction is going slightly this way, okay? So slightly to the right. If you want to, if you want to do that, you can do. If you want to do it the other way, if you want to have it flat, whatever you want, all right? But what we're going to do is we're going to have on the right-hand side we're going to be back by one block, and we're going to have four, two, three, and four like that. Then we're going to have a three, one, two, three, and yes, this is an odd one, but this ended up looking okay. For the other side, we're going to be forward, so one, two, three, four, then a one two and three like that so you end up with that going on so it's an angled mast now we'll do we'll start from the back why not what we're going to do is going to have two oak fences on top of this back piece now if you want to you can switch this out to a stair it's actually one of the things that i noticed when i was looking at this was why didn't i do it to a stair it's weird but you can do it to a stair now we're going to have a one and now a two okay so we're going to do alternating ones and then twos which um it's just how it worked out with this one. Sometimes sometimes it's nice and even. I like to try and have it even where it's just like twos, just ones. But this one was a one and then a two. Very odd for one of my ships. But like I say, if it if it happens, it happens. Uh, so there we go, you get to a one and then you leave it right there. Whoops, don't delete your slab. So it's as if it's connecting into that slab or into that fence right there. Uh, that's what you end up getting, okay? See the angle works. For the front, we're going to have a fence right here go back up back up back up back up back up back and up and back and up and we just keep continue doing this until we get right to the top like that and keep going keep going and finally we will get there there we go like that now you can have it like that where you've got a really strong line or you can just delete like i did on the other one delete the bottom one okay that's why I say go back and up. So as long as you do that pattern, you'll be deleting the right one. If you do it the other way around, that's fine as well. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's however you guys want it. But there we go. That is what we now get for 
the uh, whole rigging, not the rigging, the, uh, well, I guess it is the rigging, isn't it? Yeah, the rigging and the mast is now in place. So let's do the sail. So on to the sail now. This is going to be a long, long section, guys. I'll show you how to do the tied up variant first, and then we'll do the other one. Um, now with mine, I did it striped. Um, I just find this looks really good for these really large singular sails, adding a bit of color in. You could do a pattern in the middle, you know, do whatever you want, really. Um, it's up to you guys. So what we're going to use, I'm going to use uh, for mine because I went with like a red kind of thing. So it was mostly this this color. So I ended up using red terracotta for the part in the sail. I didn't want it to, to look too bright. So that's the reason I didn't go for something like red wool or like, uh, where is it? The red concrete. There we go. So I found that these two were slightly too bright when I was looking at them. But you could go with that. I just wanted it a little bit washed out. Uh, so it looked a little bit old as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to have with our white wool, uh, this is the tied up version, but it'll be the same for the other one as well. Just follow it, just be one in front and down, and you're just going to follow the mast like this, like that. So you end up with something like that, and then in the middle, do a little bit of uh, a kind of like bulge going on here, and do the same going across to this side. I think I missed one out there. Yeah, I did. So you end up with something like that where it's kind of tied up. Now you could then do your stripes across that, you know, replace every other block. So from the end, you'd then replace this one with a red terracotta and then keep on doing that every so often. Or you could do even with uh, leave two, do a, do a double stripe. You know, you could do that kind of stuff if you wanted to. Uh, and that's kind of it for the tied up version. There's not really much else going. But of course, we're doing full sails because we are cool like that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have that one. We're going to do this like rough shape. Okay, so we're going to go two. Then we'll do a three, then a four. Then we'll try even more. Two, <laughs> three. I don't know. I have no idea. Let's see what we're going to do. I'll come up with a pattern and then I'll tell you guys what that pattern is. How about that? Um, so we could go with something like that, or we could go even bigger than that. So we could even do twos. Go a massive one here. Two sets of four. I think that might look good. It's going to be different than what I did over here, but that's fine by me. So two, one. And then a one, okay. Yeah, that brings us down to there, right. So yeah, your pattern is gonna be one, two, two, four, four, move in, two, one, one, all right? And you're just gonna follow the mast with that, all right? So just put these in here, follow the mast. That's all we are doing. Follow that mast, like this. So then when we move inwards, we also move inwards, all right? So your two there, this one's gonna be a two as well. Four. There we go. Add this in here, and we might in a minute hit into. No, we're not hitting into a problem, that's fine. But we will do down here actually. Yeah, let's get this one done. So if you do hit into it, that's fine. Leave it. Don't worry about it. Just do the best you can. Like this. You know, um, we'll sort this all out in a second. It'll make a lot more sense, alright? I'm gonna cut out quite a big chunk of this one. So there we go, do this one here, continue this on, like that. All right, so guys, I want you to continue that on, and what I want you to do is pause this video, get that all done so you've got a nice big square thing, and then I'll show you what to do next. So hopefully, after some time, you guys should have something that looks like this, all right? Big, flat, square looking sail. Um, you might have pushed back blocks behind this one in the middle. If you have, don't worry about it at all. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do some shaping, all right? So let's do that first. So right at the top, we're going to cut out a seven. So just cut out middle five and do one either side of this. Down the bottom, we're going to do some major work on this thing, okay? So we're going to leave this all up to here. We'll do two there. Knock these out. So knock these out. Maybe we'll have another two and then we'll have a one or something like that. So that's what we're going to end up having, okay? Do the same on the other side as well. We're going to cut out that two there. So we can cut these out, get two there. Cut all these out. Then get two there, and it's going to end over one. I've missed something. There we go. Cut out too much. But then you go, we'll get something like that, I think. Maybe. Now, nah, we're also going to do a one there, actually. We're going to do a one right there. Same there as well. Just do a one like that. That's not right. <laughs> I was thinking, I was looking at it going like, this doesn't match the pattern that I did. Uh, but there we go. You'll end up with this thing. So it still looks really square really horrible, but that is going to be our basic pattern for the time being, right? So now let's make it look better. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with some of these harsher corners like this, and we're going to just like knock out and do stuff like this. 
do the same up here. Knock out some there. Knock out some there. Maybe knock out some there. Push this one. Push that one back, maybe. And you just end up just doing, like, random-ish blocks. Uh, taking them in, taking them out. This one I'm going to push back so it looks a bit smoother. Same with this one. I'm going to push that one back. But maybe we'll go with one coming out from here. And push this thing out. Like that, all right? Now, another trick which works really well, which I've actually forgotten to start with, is on the sides, push these blocks back and have one coming out to there. And actually, we're going to have another one coming right out as well. Diagonal from there. Just push this back, all right? But only the ones that are kind of like on the corners, if that makes sense. So not all of them, but enough of them to add in some more stuff, right? So there we go. Get that to there. Get that to there like that, all right? Let's end up with stuff like that. That looks better. Um, and we'll smooth that out. Then do the same over here. Knock these back as well. Don't know how I forgot my own technique that I've been doing for the last, I don't know, 20 ships? <laughs> just goes to show uh, sometimes you just, your mind is gone. There we go. Um, so there we go. That's what we'll end up getting like that. So let's smooth out this bit even more. We can see this nice big square blob here. That looks terrible. So let's smooth that out. Get this into here. Like that. That looks a little bit better. Maybe we can have that there. Uh, maybe even have this one coming out as well. Like that. I'm actually going to add in a little bit more as well, coming out even further from our pattern. Like, that, that looks weird. Something looks weird about that. <laughs> I think I need to move this one to here to do that. That looks better. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. So let's continue on. We're going to knock out a couple here. Push this bit back just to offset this one. I'm very aware I'm doing a lot of twos, so I'm going to start doing some ones in here and also knock back as well as pushing forwards. We'll do something there. That one back. Do a three on that bit, yeah. Here we go, now we're getting it. Let's push these in even more. Maybe even push this out. It's a big sale here, so we might as well make the most of it, yeah? So there we go, get that there. Let's get two of these pushed back as well. At least we can get down from that, that's the main thing. I always try and make sure that it actually works, otherwise it's really annoying. But yeah, you just continue doing this stuff, guys. It's not it's not actually too bad, it just takes takes time. That's the problem with these. Any, any sales, whenever you're doing organics, it'll always take you time. There is no shortcuts uh, that I know of anyway. Um, not really. So that is the only problem. But there we go. Keep on keep on shaping. You will get there. Okay. Something like that. There we go. Look at that. Look how smooth that's now looking. Compared to what we had before, it looks great. Uh, we've still got a little way to go, but that's fine. Uh, let's push that one back. Yeah. Oops. There. That looks good. Okay. Oh, I haven't done the top part of this one. So let's have one going out. One going diagonally out as well. There we go. That looks pretty good. The only thing I'm going to do is this bit looks a little bit weird. So I'm going to just chunk this up a little bit here. That looks a lot better. There we go. Smooth. Nice. There we go. So we've got that thing. Right. So you're alternating color now. Feel free to go with whatever you guys want. But you'll just be doing the every other one. So I have white on the side. I'll leave it from there. Don't bother with these like bits that are going out to the side. Just keep them white. Be fine. Now for me, I have got world edit on the server, which makes life a lot easier. I can use tool replace. And I'm just going to do one, which is stone. And then I can left click to get that one selected. And then just right click and it's like painting. So that is one of the best bits of mods, of servers, that makes your life a little bit easier is this kind of stuff. And it makes sure that my shape that I was happy with when it was all in one color. Now I do definitely recommend doing all in one color first to shape it. Um, you'll be surprised at um, how much better it looks. If you try and do it all in one go, you end up just having weird shapes. I don't know why. Your eyes don't work properly or, or something. I don't know. It's really odd. Um, but it seems to be just, you know, keep it simple. And then everything else will work off of that. There we go. So last line now. Now, of course, I expect you guys or some of you guys to be doing this manually. So you're going to have to pause. But uh, get all of that done. You end up with a sale like this. Now, what you'll notice is it's quite different to this one. It's not hugely different, but it is a little bit different. And that's cool. That is one of the cool things about organic type sales is that you do it at a different time and it will look slightly different. So you can see that where it sticks out a lot more than that one. Uh, it's that little that little bit that we put in there. So um, that's the cool thing. Right, let's get onto the shrouds.
So now onto the shrouds. Grab yourself a birch fence, and what we're going to do is we're going to have one. Uh, well, we're going to have one set across here on top of the spruce slab. We're going to actually be four high with this, so we're going to go one, two, three, four. Now you're going to connect on three on the back. One, two, and three. Make this one a four high. So two, three, four. Connect three on the back, but also go forwards with one, okay? So forwards with one this time. Now you're going to have these three here, the frontmost three, are going to be four high. So two, three, four. Like that. Connect three on the back. Make these four high. Two, three, four. There we go. Keep on building those up. Then you're only going to connect two on the front part of it, okay? So two on the front part of it, then go forwards by one, okay? So that's what you're going to end up having, like that. Now what you're going to do right here is just these front two are going to be four high. So two, three, four. Now have singles just to go into the crow's nest that we've got up there. You can make this more complicated and you can make it smoother, but I've been trying to keep mine simple lately uh, because it's quite confusing. Um, so what you can do right here is you can, you can do the same thing. So we're going to have four top of that slab. Connect three on the back. Make this level here four high. So two, three, four. Connect three on the back and move forwards by one. These three right here, make that four high. Two, three, four. Connect three on the back. Make that four high. Two, three, and four. Connect two on the front most part of it. Go forwards by one, so that's what you're going to end up having. Now these two front ones are going to be four high, so two, three, and four, and then singles up to the top. And now guys, that is it. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. As always, um, I would love to see what your comments are, see what you've done, especially with the interior of this one, because I haven't got one for it at the minute. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, guys, I'll see you on the next one.